Almost every day, there is some type of new makeup or skincare product trying to go viral. I feel like since the beauty industry has completely taken over the internet, there is so many brands trying to shove these new products down our throats and sometimes it's the same product over and over again. Because makeup and skincare has become so popular, I feel like it's super easy to get addicted to it. Which before realizing this, I was so easily influenced, I would buy almost everything I saw on my screen. But as much as the aesthetic of these products is absolutely perfect we do not need every single one of these which is why we are going through all of the new summer 2024 releases and seeing what products might actually be worth trying and which ones are just trying to take our money do you ever feel like you keep spending money on things you don't even need because so do i I feel like whenever a new viral skincare makeup product comes out, I have to be the first one to get it. Which, don't get me wrong, I love trying new products and seeing if they are actually worth it or not. But at some point, I have to tell myself, you do not need another blush, you do not need another lip gloss. And this one was hard for me to learn. Just because it's new and viral does not mean you have to try it. Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ava. I love making makeup and skincare videos and I've recently noticed my overconsumption with these products. So in today's video, I thought it'd be super fun to go through all of the new skincare and makeup releases to see which ones might actually be worth trying and which ones you could probably pass on. I did get this video idea from Elle Chu. I'll put her username right here. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, but she makes these videos all the time and when I tell you, she has helped me save money she definitely has when i tell you i am so tired of brands releasing the same thing over and over again there has been so many times where makeup brands have released the same exact thing and we keep buying it which i am definitely guilty of there is so many new releases going on i feel like they are always finding an excuse to take my money but we are not going to fall into that trap anymore so without further ado let's go ahead and look at the new summer 2024 releases okay starting off strong laneige just launched their new watermelon lip sleeping mask and if you've watched my channel before you know that i am obsessed with laneige sleeping masks i do see the concept they're going for you know watermelon is a summer fruit so it's supposed to remind you of summer but i am honestly just so tired of brands releasing watermelon scented things i feel like after glow recipe released their watermelon line and it blew up now every brand is trying to hop on the watermelon trend and honestly i am just so over it i feel like this lip mask is nothing special and you don't need it i already have two laneige sleeping masks so i definitely do not need a third one also it's just kind of boring to me it's just a solid red color which i feel like there's so many cheaper options of lip balm that you can choose from and i feel like they could have been a little bit more creative with it they could have made it into a pink and green swirl or something like that but this just kind of feels like they were money hungry and just wanted to release something elf also just came out with their new satin foundation which if you are wanting to try this i believe it's already at walmart i don't believe it's at ulta yet but if you're wanting to try it run to walmart i am a huge fan of elf i absolutely love that they are an affordable makeup brand but also their products are just so good and i think it's hilarious that they are duping all of the viral products for a cheaper price and they're actually good so i feel like this is going to be good as well i personally don't wear foundation i am a halo glow girly till i die that is what i'm wearing today so i don't think i'm going to be trying this but i do have really high hopes that this would be good it says it has medium buildable coverage which i think would be good for summer i'm also really impressed with their shade range they have so many shades which i think is so nice most drugstore brands don't really do a lot of shades so seeing this many shades is really impressive so i will give them props for that i think this is definitely worth trying road is also launching their new blush sticks these have been everywhere on tiktok i see almost everyone talking about these i honestly wasn't too excited for these just because i already have so many blush products but Hailey bieber is so good with her marketing team i was not excited for these at all but i saw people trying them on and they look so natural on the skin all of the videos i've seen people are wearing them with no makeup at all and they just blend like butter and i have been looking for a blush to just wear with no makeup and also the shade piggy is just the cutest shade i've ever seen so i was really contemplating this but 
but I think I will go ahead and pick this up because I am just so excited for this. Also, the packaging is just so cute. It looks like a little Tootsie Roll. She worked on it for more than a year, so I know she put her blood, sweat, and tears into this product, so I just know it's gonna be good. Okay, I took my hair down because it was annoying me, but Makeup by Mario also recently launched their new bronzing serum. I absolutely love Makeup by Mario because their packaging is always so unique, and this one especially because not only does it have a pump, but it also has a doe foot applicator that you can apply the product with. At first, I was really intrigued to try this product, but then I saw reviews on it and it is very sheer. So it's more like a bronzy drop serum. So if you're looking for more of a liquid bronzer or contour, this is definitely not going to be it, which I feel like there is just way too many bronzing drops on the market right now. I feel like we do not need a new contribution to it. I'm so sorry, Makeup by Mario, but I'm just not really interested in trying this. And also, even if you were in the market for a new bronzing drop, I just feel like paying this high of a price is not worth it. I just tried the e.l.f. bronzing drops and they are so good and those are only $12 so I would definitely try those instead of this. If you saw the short that I released then you would know that Sol de Janeiro is coming out with a new scent called 48. From what I've heard it's supposed to smell like bikini season which is an older launch. I honestly can't remember exactly how bikini season smells but I feel like I do remember it smelling really good. I also know that this is going to be an Ulta exclusive so you're not going to be able to buy it at Sephora, just Ulta. I'm excited to go and see what it smells like but I don't think I'll be picking this up just because I already have so many Sol de Janeiro perfumes. I just bought the limited edition trio that just released so this one's gonna have to smell pretty good for me to pick this up. I'm also pretty sure that this is a permanent launch just because it does have its own number now so I don't believe it's limited edition so that's another reason I'm not in a rush to pick it up. So again I am excited for this launch but I just don't think I'll be picking this up. Fenty also recently released their new tinted moisturizer. I think this is a mixture of a moisturizer and a sunscreen. It has SPF 30 in it. For me personally, I burn very easy. So even if I step one foot into the sun, I'm already sunburned. So for me personally, I have to have SPF 50. So I feel like this SPF 30 is not going to do anything for my skin. Also, I absolutely love the brand Fenty and their lip products, but for some reason, any other products I try just do not work for my skin. They always separate off of my face or make me break out, which I'm really sad about. But also with summer coming up, I do feel like SPF 30 is not going to be enough sunscreen. I would definitely say SPF 40 or higher is recommended if you're going to be out in the sun. It's also $42, which is a little bit on the pricey side, so I don't think I'll be picking this up. Another new product everyone has been talking about is the new Summer Fridays Iced Coffee Butter Balm. Personally, I am not a coffee drinker. I do love the smell of coffee, but just drinking it, I just haven't developed a taste for it ever. So seeing that they came out with an iced coffee scent really didn't appeal to me. I've also heard some people say that it doesn't even smell like iced coffee. It smells like caramel or just random scents. And also, I already have way too many Summer Fridays lip balms. I have four of them. I do not need a fifth one. They are really good lip balms but I just feel like four is already pushing the limit so adding a fifth one that's just over consumption for me at this point. But I know you guys who are obsessed with coffee out there are probably screaming about this product which I am so excited for you guys. Go and try it and tell me if it's worth it but for me personally I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Dior also released a new blush and glow palette. I'm not sure if these are already out or not but honestly even if they are I was not too excited about these anyway. Honestly, anything that I've tried from Dior has just been overpriced junk and I know that's a hot take but it is so true. If your makeup products are going to be over $40, at least put some pigment in them, you know what I'm saying? If you have ever tried the Dior blush, then you know that it has absolutely no pigment whatsoever. The brand, of course, is such a beautiful brand but the actual makeup products are just always trash so I will definitely not be trying this. The colors are pretty but I just can tell that it's not gonna have pigment so if I were you I would stay far away from these. Elf is on a roll 
let me tell you because they just released their laminating brow gel this is supposed to be a dupe for the refi brow gel which i recently just tried the refi one and i have to say i am absolutely obsessed i love the way it makes my brows look but if i can find one for way cheaper i am so down to try it i haven't heard too many reviews on this but from what elf has released so far i do have really high hopes that this is going to be a good product it's pretty rare that elf drops something that's not good so i am so excited to try this again if it's a cheaper option and it works just the same as the regular product why not try it road is also releasing new colors in their viral phone case i am obsessed with the pink one i've heard mixed reviews about this case i've heard that it's super bulky when you hold it and it's kind of hard for it to fit in your pocket but i do think that it's such a creative idea so you can just carry your lippy everywhere but for me personally i just don't see myself putting this on my phone just like everyone else i am obsessed with my lip glosses but i don't feel like i have to have it on the back of my phone at all times i can just put it in my pocket or my purse and i'll be perfectly fine with that they are a really cute idea though but again i just i use my phone to film all the time and i feel like it'd get in my way and as much as i love the road lip treatments i just don't think i'd want to carry it 24 7 with me i'd probably choose another lip gloss to carry i do like to switch out my lip glosses so i like to take a new one every day so it'd be hard to fit all of my lip glosses in this phone case so it's a super cute idea but i just don't see this working out for me in the long run so i will not be picking this up Kosas also recently launched a new powder blush. It's called Blushes Life, which I think is funny. I was super interested in trying this when it first came out, but I did recently go to Sephora and swatch it on my hand. And honestly, not to get anyone's hopes up, but it's nothing special really. When I swatched it on my hand, it just looked like an ordinary powder blush that I can just pick up from the drugstore. And they're charging $29 for that, which is pretty crazy. I was really interested to try the shade butterflies because it's a really pretty pink shade but again it's just a really simple powder blush that you can just pick up from Ulta or Target. I don't really see the hype in trying this so as much as I do love the packaging of these products I don't think that it's worth $29 and I will not be picking this up. I'm not gonna lie I was pretty excited when I saw this so this is unreleased it was actually leaked on Reddit but apparently Sol de Janeiro is coming out with another new scent called 76 which from what i've heard it's not 100 percent confirmed but it's supposed to be the new permanent after hours scent so if you never got a chance to smell or try after hours like i haven't now is gonna be your chance i swear when after hours came out my sephora just never got it in stock i searched all the time and they just never brought it where i lived so I never got the chance to smell it. So hearing that they are re-releasing it, I am so excited. Everybody has said that this is one of their best scents that they have ever released. And honestly, I'm kind of having some FOMO because why have I never smelled it? It has the notes of Midnight Jasmine, Black Current, and Amber Woods, which supposedly is the same notes that After Hours had. But I don't think this is going to release for a little bit because when Karaoke Crush got leaked, that one got leaked around February. So everyone was was saying it was going to release for valentine's day or something like that but that didn't end up releasing until this summer so i feel like this one's probably not going to release until late fall early winter but that's just what i think but again, I am super excited to smell this and I probably will go ahead and pick this up. Juvia's Place also recently launched new lip glosses. This is their milkshake line, which I think is such a cute idea. I don't know if it's milkshake or smoothie, but it's definitely one of those. But these shades are super cute. They look super glossy and I've heard so many great things about Juvia's Place. They are known for being super pigmented. So I feel like these glosses are going to be really pigmented. So if you're someone who likes pigment and your glosses then you'll probably like these. I also love that Juvia's Place is more on the affordable side and their products actually are pretty good. I don't know if I'll end up trying these just because I already have way too many lip products that I need to go through first. 
but this will definitely be on my list of maybes. Another launch that I was so excited and interested about was the new Patrick Ta Powder and Cream Highlighter Duos. I'm not gonna lie, I instantly caved when I saw that pink shade. Are you kidding me? That is gonna be an immediate buy. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Honestly, any product that I've tried from Patrick Ta has been so worth it. And I love the fact that you get two products for the price of one. His products can be a little bit on the pricey side, but I would a thousand percent say that every product I've tried has been a hundred percent worth it. And they also last me quite a while. Also, the shades on these are absolutely stunning. I feel like any of these shades would look beautiful on anybody. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I already went to Sephora to do some returns and I got the shade Baby and I am so, so excited to try it. I'm gonna make a short trying it, so be on the lookout for that. So as much as I am all for criticizing products and saving our money, I would definitely have to say Patrick Ta has never done me dirty so that is one brand that i fully trust all of their products would be good house labs also recently released their new cream blush sticks these shades are absolutely gorgeous and i've heard nothing but good things about house labs i do know that for me personally blush sticks completely take off my makeup it doesn't matter if i directly apply it to my face or put it on a brush and then add it to my face for some reason it always makes my makeup separate or just completely takes it off so for that reason, I'm kind of hesitant when I buy cream blushes. The shades are really pretty, don't get me wrong, but personally, I just don't see myself trying these. I do really like the shades that she picked. I feel like most brands, when they release blushes, they release kind of the same shade as every other brand does, but I feel like the shades that she released are really unique and no one has ever released blushes in that color before. So I do give props to her for that. I think it's really creative. But again, for me personally, I'm gonna have to pass on these. Gisu also released a new product, which I actually made a short about and it went viral, which I was not expecting at all. And for the longest time, I could not figure out what the new shade was going to be, but they finally released it and it is in the shade Coconut Frost. I have to say I was super excited at first because I heard that they were launching a new lip oil and I do really like their lip oils. But then when I saw it's just a white glittery one, all of my excitement just dropped. As much as I love Gisu and their products, I was really disappointed when I saw this because honestly to me, this just feels like money hungry and that they just want money. So they just released something that they literally just released. If you remember the watermelon lip oil, that one's literally clear. I know the packaging is pink, but when you put it on your lips, it literally goes on clear. So the fact that they made a clear lip oil was really annoying to me because they literally just released this product a few months ago. Not even, probably like one month ago. It really disappointed me because I felt like they just released something to get more money because there is no need that they need to release almost the same exact product Product in the span of a couple months. So I was super excited about it and I think the shade is really nice and pretty and I absolutely love coconut scented things but I will not be purchasing this just because I literally just bought the pink lip oil and I feel like buying this product would be a waste of money. To me, honestly, this looks like they put no thought into this product whatsoever. I feel like they saw that their lip oils were selling like crazy and then they just took the color out of the watermelon one, slapped a new flavor onto it, and then boom, they're selling it yet again, which is just annoying to me. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Apparently, Rode is also releasing pimple patches, which these are absolutely so adorable. But honestly, for me to buy these, they have to be at a good price. Yes, pimple patches can be so cute, but if they're gonna be expensive, I'm just gonna go buy the $5 ones from Target. I don't wear my pimple patches outside of the house anyway so buying cute pimple patches doesn't really appeal to me so if they're more than ten dollars i'm definitely gonna have to pass on this but i would say if they're maybe five to eight dollars for a 10 or 20 pack then maybe i would go ahead and try them danessa myricks is also coming out with a new concealer i have heard so many good things about her products and i really do love that the shade range is really inclusive so there is so many shades to this concealer which i really 
love when brands do that. Also, the applicator is really interesting to me. I feel like this is gonna go under your eyes so nicely and I am pretty excited to try this product. I don't know if I'll try it right away because I do have a bunch of concealers already, but I feel like this product is gonna be really, really good. Tarte is also coming out with their own setting powder and the ones I was really intrigued about is their lilac powder and also pink powder. I was mostly interested with the lilac powder because I've never seen that before. I think it's really interesting but also Tarte products are such a hit or miss for me. Sometimes I love their products but other times I cannot stand some of their products and also I feel like their products are pretty overpriced so usually after I buy something from Tarte I kind of regret it just because I spent a lot of money on something so I definitely want to see some reviews first before I go ahead and buy this but honestly now that I'm thinking about it I probably won't go ahead and pick this up I already have setting powders that I absolutely love and I don't want to change in my routine I love the Huda Beauty one and also the Charlotte Tilbury press powder those are my go-to powders and honestly I'm not really in the market to pick up a new one so these are going to be a pass for me and we are on to the very last product we're going to talk about today tower 28 recently collabed with way to release a saint bart's lip gloss now as much as i love the saint bart's scent i don't think i need another clear lip gloss just because it smells good i do think it's a nice idea because when your products smell good i feel like that makes me want to use it more but also i do already own the shade chill in the tower 28 gloss which the the Tower 28 glosses are super good, so if you haven't tried them already, I definitely recommend. But since I already have the shade Chill, I don't feel the need to go ahead and pick up the St. Bart's scent one. And also, I love the St. Bart's smell, but I don't love it so much where I need it in a lip gloss. So for that reason, I am going to have to pass on this one as well. But yeah guys, that is going to go ahead and end off today's video. Let me know what you guys think about these products and what you will be trying or not trying because I am definitely interested to know. Also definitely let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do more videos like this. I had so much fun making this video and if I can help some of us save some money, I am all for it. But I do just want to say again, these are my personal opinions. So just because I don't want to try something does not mean that you don't have to try it too. And I also just just want to say there is absolutely no hate to any of these brands everybody just has their own opinion and some products just aren't going to cater to every single person so with that being said thank you guys so so much for watching definitely comment this emoji down below if you stayed to the end and if you did i just want to say thank you so so much i love you all so so much and the fact that we are almost at 30,000 subscribers is absolutely mind-blowing to me i cannot thank you guys enough also let me know any video ideas that you guys have for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!